Today in Health Watch, as COVID-19 has been keeping us down, alcohol sales have been going up. Have your drinking habits changed since the COVID-19 pandemic, and what does this mean for you? In today's Health Watch, Local 5's Connie Fellman takes a closer look at the quarantine cocktail. Alcohol is one of the most widely accepted and used drugs worldwide. Since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, studies show alcohol sales up as much as 55 percent as Americans try to take the edge off. But exactly how is this affecting us? Here's how to know whether or not you're drinking up has become a bit too much. Whether it's just washing down our worries, a romantic night in, or just a way to pass time, has your drinking gotten out of hand? I've had all these negative feelings about myself and uh, alcohol numb that. I let myself get you know, caught up in the depression. So how much is too much? It's different for everybody. Pay attention to factors like sleep, food intake, hydration, emotions or stress, depression or anger, the quantity and speed of your drinking, and try to be mindful of how many is one too many for you. Trauma, PTSD, uh, panic disorder and depression uh, can sometimes increase the risks and turn into a coexisting substance use disorder problem. For healthier drinking habits, follow alcohol positive Facebook pages like Soberistas that help you to connect with others trying to get a handle on their addiction. Try a detox yeah, for a few days or weeks. Really the app know. Less lets you set weekly drinking goals and lists out the benefits you're feeling alcohol free. As alcohol abuse increases during the coronavirus pandemic, so does the rate of domestic violence. Statistics show nearly 55% of domestic violence incidents involve alcohol. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.